Hey guys, I want to uh, make a quick video, uh, just a, you know, five or six minutes, about how to uh, set up a, a cameras to run simultaneously on a schedule with using the Arlo. This is just the basic Arlo system. I got it for $269 at Costco up here in Washington. It comes with two cameras and the base unit. And I already have a Netgear or Nighthawk or whatever it's called uh, router, so it uh, pretty is pretty seamless to set up. And there's lots of videos on how to set it up, and they're all correct. Pretty much, and it shows you how to sync everything. It's pretty self-explanatory if you have any degree of uh, familiarity with computers and things like that. Now, uh, what I was becoming frustrated with is how to um, set up a schedule to run my cameras initially um, on this on the same type of schedule. For example, if I wanted to have a nighttime schedule or a daytime schedule, I want to have both cameras running at the same time and, and at same sensitivity or different sensitivities for each one, how do I do that? So you can customize this, but it just is a little difficult to figure out at first because all the videos and everything, you're using a, a little bit older version of software. Here we are on February 1st, and so uh, like these up here, library mode and settings are, uh, are still there, uh, but it's a little different. And then when you get to the schedule on the other YouTube videos, it's, it's much different. So anyway, how do you start this is to create a mode. So you hit this mode button up here and it takes me to this screen here, right? So you can see I already have created both cameras at night and both cameras during the day, but let's create one uh, to show you how to do this. And so I'm running these modes that I've created on a schedule, a custom schedule. So I come over here and you can see my calendar here with my schedule that's running Monday through Sunday, right? So come back to where we were. We're going to add a mode down here, all right? So we'll mess with the schedule and stuff in a minute. So if you wanted to add, you know, if I want to add a camera to this one, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But So we start off, we hit add mode, right? So we're going to create the mode name, and we're just going to call it run at same time, right? And you can add as many cameras as you want to this mode, but you're going to have to start by selecting one of the synced cameras. I only have two right now. I'm going to add more. But let's just start with the back door. We'll hit next on that. And so, it's, what would you like your back door to, well, how would you like it to activate? When motion is detected, of course. So I hit next, and you can adjust your sensitivity level here, right? So if I was gonna run this, you know, uh, during the day, I might have it lower. It's just all your personal choice, or, or higher at night, whatever you want. So we're just gonna say 65 for now, for this example. Still the back door. What device do you wanna have recorded for this rule? Well, I selected the back door camera, so I'd like the back door camera to activate, so next, right? What do you want it to do? I want it to record nothing, uh, I mean record video, not do nothing. Uh, of course, uh, I'm making this for a reason. So anyway, then you can, uh, of course, you can adjust it to record for a certain period of time. Each camera, you're gonna have the flexibility to adjust the sensitivity in the recording period how you like. So even though they might be part of the same mode, uh, you can uh, customize them, right? So record video next, right? So it's gonna send a notification or email alert. You can select it to do that when this is uh, this mode is activated, so to speak. And so then I hit finish. So here it is, there's a summary of what we just did. We you know, are gonna record video on the back door if the back, back door camera, which I've called it, uh, detects motion, right? And so it's, when motion is detected. So again, it's just a summary. Hit save. All right, so how the heck do we add this to a schedule? Well, well you don't wanna do that yet because you still gotta add a camera, right? So here we are run at the same time. Here's my new mode that I created. So how do I add another camera to that? So I come over here to this arrow on the right, click that, and now there's another one. It's called add rule, right? Okay, add rule. Now we can add that front door camera to be part of this mode that we've created, right? The mode we've created was called run cameras at the same time, right? So front door next, and you're gonna do the exact same thing you just did when you initially set it up. You can adjust the sensitivity however you like, for this, um, you know, the front door one is gonna do something different or similar, whatever you want it to do. Hit next. Again, here you gotta make sure that you select the one you just selected, front door. Uh, well, you know, what do you want the front door device to do for this rule? Well, I want the front door uh, camera to record. That's what I want it to do. And I want it to record video for what, what period of time do I want it? You know, 30 seconds, 50 seconds, whatever. I'll up to 120 seconds is as high as you can go down to one, or 10, sorry. Uh, so anyway, I'll go back. I want it to record next. So again, it's gonna, do I wanna have a notification, email alert sent to me, what? Hit finish, all right, so now as part of this rule, uh, I've, uh, the mode, I've added a rule to that mode, which is to add that other camera, right? So now we come down and hit save, and you'll see, it's gonna save, and um, it's giving me kind of a summary, run at same time, 
running that backdoor camera if the backdoor detects motion, and I've also added the rule of running a front door camera. If I had a third camera that I wanted to run on this same mode, which I'll set a schedule for in a moment, I can again add another rule. Easy, right? Come back to where we were. Now we're on the schedule page. Here's how we set up a schedule uh, to run that mode that I just created. Again, these are it's just a, I guess, term of art they've used to kind of set a schedule. But anyway, you got to first create the little mode, add the cameras that you want to it, adjust the settings for each of those cameras, how you like, and then come to schedule, click this right arrow, and you can see I already have both cameras up, and so we will add a schedule. And so the default selection is armed right here. If you want to go to the mode you just created, you come to this, right? Here it is, here's that new mode, run at same time. I can select run at same time and select my time period. The one thing that I did find disheartening about this program is that if I wanna run a nighttime schedule and I wanted to start say at 10 o'clock at night and run to six in the morning, you have to actually do two separate modes. You'd have to basically call it mode number one and mode number two for nighttime schedule. You know, nighttime one, nighttime two because for some reason, the software will not allow you to start at, say, 9 p.m., right, and then finish in the morning at uh, 6 a.m. It just won't let you do that. It, it can't comprehend that you are, in fact, setting a schedule for nighttime. So you'd have to do it in two separate modes and then run it that way. So even though I haven't done that, I can still adjust mine. So as you can see, mine is just running to 6 a.m. So I've actually set it to run it during the day until 11.59 p.m., which I can adjust that if I want to. Uh, and then uh, my daytime schedule runs to 11.59 p.m. and then this starts at 12 o'clock a.m. to 6 a.m. But again, I can adjust that by, by having two separate modes for nighttime to break it up. Uh, again, I wish they made it a little easier, but they didn't. If someone can tell me I'm wrong, great, and point it out for me, I would highly appreciate it. Um, but I'm not, uh, I didn't see a way to do that. Anyway, so again, here, come here, run at the same time. You could run the schedule and when I hit save, then it would pop up here on the schedule just like I have here. All right, um, so if I have a current mode or a current schedule running and I, hey, I've got another camera, I just purchased this new camera, this Arlo Pro that I'm gonna go pick up at Best Buy today and I wanna add it to here. How the heck do I add it to there? I don't really wanna mess with anything. Well, you come down here, both cameras at night. That's where I just was, both cameras at night. Come over here, just like I did before, add the rule, which is, hey, that new camera that's been synced is gonna show up here, right? So there you go. Um, I hope that helped. Um, I think that this Arlo unit is uh, pretty pretty cool for the price. Um, uh, I can show you though, I've only been using this. Here's my backdoor camera. Oh, and my dogs get out there a lot and I've adjusted the sensitivity quite a bit to you know, hopefully not pick them up every single time because it's just little miniature schnauzers. But anyway, I have to adjust the sensitivity. But the battery level um, you know, is already at 57%. I've literally not even had this 24 hours yet. But uh, I am going to get some Arlo Pros. I hear the battery life's a little better, and even if it's not, uh, you can charge it and not have to buy batteries for these normal Arlos, and plus the Pros have the audio as well. Anyway, that's my little tutorial on how to do this. I hope that helped you out. If it didn't and you're frustrated still, uh, that's the only way I know how to do it. Uh, you can look at the community page, and hopefully it'll help you out. If you didn't like the video, hey, do what you got to do. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, guys, take care.